So how do I figure out the size of the belt that I need? Hey, what is up you guys and welcome to this episode of Eddie's Customs and Restorations. Well, I'm about done with the Chevelle's AC install and now it's time to get a belt. So what you want to do is you want to grab yourself a piece of thick rope or a thick wire and you want to pretty much route that rope as if you were routing the, um, the belt. Now, in case you're not 100% sure on how to route the belt, uh, pretty much you're going to study your pulleys. So if you have grooves on the pulley, that means that the bottom side of the belt, the grooved side of the belt, is going to ride on that pulley. And the smooth pulleys that you have, like, your, like my idlers here in our case, uh, those are smooth, so that means the back side of the belt is going to ride on that. Another thing you want to do uh, before you take this measurement, actually, is make sure all your tensioners or adjustment Himes joints or whichever way you're going to tension your, your pulleys, make sure that they are at their closest settings, as in to where the belt is going to be at its smallest point. That way, when we do get a belt that we got based off of these measurements, the belt will pretty much go on snug and we're still gonna have room to expand and extend our tensioners to tighten up the belt. So now there's pretty much one last thing to do and that is measure the rope. So get yourself a tape measure and start measuring the length. Now one thing to consider is the thickness of the belt. That's kinda gonna throw off the measurement just a hair. Uh, but generally it's going to be about an inch so in my case here I ended up with 54 and a half inches so that's what I ended up at so what do we go up to about 55 and a half uh, considering that one inch that we just mentioned so I went ahead and went to the auto parts store and got me these three belts so I got a belt that is uh, 55 and 5 eighths of an inch that's the first one there, and then I got one that's 56 inches, and then another one that is 56 and 3 quarters. Now starting off with our 55 and 5 eighths, which is the closest to 55 and a half, that I was able to find there at the auto parts store. Now when installing your belt, make sure that it is fully seated on all the grooves. Reason being because you can be on one of the pulley shoulders, which is like the, the high points of the edges on the, uh, the pulleys, and this can basically make you believe that your belt is too small. When in reality, it's just that shoulder that's giving you a false reading. So belt number one. Yeah, that didn't work out. Time for the next belt. And the next runner up is a 56 inch belt. Let's see if this one works out for us. Now, if you're finding value in this video, please hit that like button so that it lets YouTube know that this is good content and consider subscribing for more automotive videos. So here we are in the moment of truth, and let's see if this belt is going to work for us. Let's bring you into a closer look. And bam. Looks like our 56 inch belt is the winner. Now another little detail that I want to add to this is you notice how there's one additional groove in front of my AC compressor. So this is actually a seven groove pulley on this air compressor and the belt actually had to scoot one forward. So that empty groove ends up at the back, at least for my application. So make sure that your pulley alignment is actually lined up. And if you're not sure, trust me, you're going to find out the moment you first start your vehicle because pretty much the belt will kind of walk off one groove and you're going to see that part of your belt is going to be uh, riding a little bit off of one of the pulleys so just keep an eye out for that so what you're seeing me do here is actually I'm rotating the the shaft that's a threaded shaft it's got uh, left hand threads on one side and right hand threads on the other and it's got two Himes joints attached to either end of it and I'm pretty much rotating that shaft and what it's doing is it's pulling away the compressor if you've been paying attention to that corner right there it's actually pulling away from the valve cover as I rotate it. So that is essentially what is making my belt tighter, hence being a tensioner in our case. And once you get it all tightened up, your end result should look something like this.